what's up guys uh, welcome to day 5 of the zomato application build so in this video we will be exploring about the context api which we'll be uh, using to add items to our cart as well as delete items from our cart so in the previous video we designed the menu system and we also uh, did the implementation for increase of quantity for a particular item as well as decrease the quantity for a particular item if we click the the plus button and the minus button for uh, a button for a particular item inside the list of menu so in today's video we will uh, see uh, see about context api if you don't know what a context api is don't need to worry i'll create a particular video for that that is a separate video how to do that that is the process how it goes so first step is let me run the application so for that export start and then let's hit enter and let us open our developer tools and click on the second option that is run on io simulator all right Let me minimize this okay so the first step we do is we create a uh, the context as i said so to do that let me go to the app.js and then click another i mean click new file and create context.js so we are using context api uh, to prevent something called as prop drilling so this I'll, uh, the, this thing i'll explain it in a separate video so for now let's go and create the context so first let's import uh, react uh, comma create context from react and first let's initialize the context that is const in our case it's going to be cart items equals to create context okay so the next thing is we will write call as basket context and this will take something called as children over here is props so children and this will return us a provider that is cart items dot provider and we will pass the children over here so whatever we initialize inside our context.js will be av uh, available throughout uh, the application that is we can use it inside any component or any screen so the way we do that is by using the use context hook so for now let us import i mean let us initialize our uh, cart and set cart with the help of the use state hook all right so here we will provide the initial value of a empty array because initially there are zero items inside our cart and let us import use state as well now we pass the uh, cart and set cart to our provider by making use of the, this uh, value and now our entire application has access to the cart and set cart okay not now well, we have only created a context right now we, we also need to include our context inside our application so to do that first let me export the cart items as well as our uh, um, basket context okay and save the file yeah so now we have just created the context so to include it on uh, inside our application we go to the app.js and we simply remove the view that is not required and over here we will import basket context first and then we will just put a stack navigator and our status bar inside our basket context so everything is included and then format all right save the file okay so now we have access to our cart as well as set cart throughout our application so that's the way of doing the context api so this prevents the prop drilling part so yeah now let me go to uh, the hotel room and the way to access the cart and set cart uh, throughout the application is by making use of the use context hook so let us make use of that and let us get the cart as well as set cart equals to use context so this takes the context itself so in our case it's going to be cart item set just created so 
import it from context that is over here and then save the file okay so now let us pass some information to the menu that we rendered inside our home screen so let's go check that out that is over here where is that yeah here so let's pass some information that is cart equals to cart and set cart equals to set cart all right so let me save the file so now let me go to our menu.js and then receive the information over here so let's remove uh, props let us destructure it let's get the menu and the cart as well as set cart and let me uh, uh, remove this one it's not needed we just restructured the values so let me save the file nothing should change if i go to the next screen okay can't find variable use context hotel room let me import use context first okay from react right that is missing okay save the file that should go now yeah so fine now let me go back to our menu.js and then let us write the logic for adding items to our cart as well as uh, deleting items from our cart so in the last video what we did was we were only able to add the quantity that is to one or zero to any of the items present inside the list so now if i uh, click on the plus button the quantity also should get increased as well as the item also should be added to our cart okay so let's write the logic for that so let me go to the logic where we written where, where we've written the set items so here what we do is the first thing we do is we set the cart to be whatever was there uh, inside the cart and then the menu uh, that we added okay so that is the logic for set card that is addition of item so let me save the file and let me also write the logic for removing items from our card so let me go to the minus button that is over here okay so the first let me write set card here we will make use of the filter function and we will filter based on the id all right so filter takes a value and over here we write p.id is not equal equal to the menu.id that is present and the second thing we do is we simply decrease the quantity if we remove the cart item okay so save all right so first let me remove all the console.logs or it will get confusing so let's go to a hotel room one console.log over here let's command that out and then save so the next thing is inside menu i hope there are no console.logs yes there is nothing all right so now what we do is let us console.log the cart with a message saying cart item so we can see whatever we added inside our cart okay and save the file okay so it is showing like eight times i don't know why that is happening it is showing like the number of times we have uh, the number of items we have inside our uh, um, our menu data i think we have eight items so it's showing eight times the array with zero items inside our cart so first let's check if the logic is working right that is the add to our cart as well as the uh, remove to cart so let's uh, click on the plus button yeah so uh, we can see the uh, items being added to the cart let's add another item okay we can see that two items are being added to the cart with the details that is the id the image the name the price the review as well as the star okay so but we have a bug that is it is showing the cart like eight times that is how many other times the menu the how many other times the dishes are that that is uh, we have like eight dishes okay so it's showing like eight times that is 
not the case that's not what we wanted we uh, we needed to show one time all right so let us check the remove part if it's working or not yeah that also is working yeah, but it is showing like eight times okay why that is happening let us see mm, let us go into our hotel room and then let us check what is happening okay so we have used cart and set cart by using the use context hook and then we have passed cart items and over here we have passed it as props that is cart equals to cart and then set cart equals to set cart okay and then inside our menu we are simply importing it that is the data that we passed over there here and then we are simply writing the logic for set cart it's going to be the cart itself whatever is there initially and then we are adding that is a menu okay and then we are increasing the quantity uh, plus one so for remove cart remove the item from cart first thing we are filtering the data that is p dot id is not equal equal to menu dot id that is already present inside the cart and then the second thing we do is we are decrementing the quantity value okay and then we are console.logging the cart okay i guess it is using the number of items in the list and rendering it those many times so let's remove cart over here all right i think that's was uh, causing the error because we are mapping right so it's taking uh, how many more values uh, it's present inside our menu data that is eight values so let us give another try and let us console.log inside our hotel room that is here hopefully this should work because we do not have any mapping over here so cart and then over here let's write cart items okay and then let me save the file let me go back and check let me go to suppose here this hotel okay now we are not able to see it because the <coughs> same value have been given i mean the same message has been given so let me write a different message so cart items add it now let me save it should show the one time yes so as you can see it's showing a single time now it's working right so now if I add item to the cart, it should show only a single item with a message saying cart items added. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, see the message is cart items added and we can see the uh, the item that is being added with the data. Okay, that is the image, name and all that. And it is working fine. So let me add another item. Let's say this one. Yeah, so it is uh, adding the second item as well. And now let us check the length of the cart. Uh, I mean it yeah it should be two because there are two items inside our cart so let's also console.log uh, what do you say uh, cart dot length right so okay and pass a message here number of items in the cart if I save, we should see the value 2 coming up. Yeah, so you can see two items in the cart. That is absolutely fine. So let us check the remove button functionality. So yeah, so only one item is present and this also got changed. That is the number of items, one number of items in the cart. Okay. Now if I remove all the items, it should show me zero. Yeah, so zero number of items in the cart and we have the cart uh, also uh, nothing inside. Uh, nothing inside it that is no items present so yeah now uh, we are able to add items to the cart as well as uh, decrease the quantity as well as increase the quantity so yeah we are done with the context api so in the next video we will render the button that is the view card button with a uh, different logic so in this video that's it and then keep exploring and then thank you for watching